I'm working on a video about how extreme mainstream media is, including the tricks used when covering key domestic issues like healthcare. But this video is a response to the trick repeatedly used against this channel in channel comments. It's the standard tactic of calling someone anti-Semitic, and it's used to sabotage anyone who speaks out against the U.S. government policy of supporting immoral and illegal Israeli policies which violate basic human rights. And as you can see, this person suggests using a new word for the same old trick. Amy Goodman interviews a former Israeli minister, and she helps expose this trick used against dissidents. The defamation tactic of calling someone anti-Semitic. Yours is a voice of criticism we don't often hear in the United States. Um, often when there is dissent expressed in the United States against policies of the Israeli government, um, uh, people here are called anti-Semitic. Uh, what is your response to that as an Israeli Jew? Well, it's a trick. We always use it. When from Europe somebody is criticizing Israel, then we bring up the Holocaust. When in this country people are criticizing Israel, then they are anti-Semitic. And the organization is strong and has a lot of money. And the the ties between uh, Israel and the American esta Jewish establishment are very strong and they are strong in this country as you know uh, they have power which it's okay they are talented people and they have power money and uh, media and other things and their attitude is Israel my country right or wrong the identification and they are not ready to hear criticism and it's very easy to blame people who criticize certain acts of the Israeli government as anti-Semitics and to bring up the Holocaust and the suffering of the Jewish people and that's, that justify everything we do to the Palestinians.